Hello, hello. Whoa! But I better pay more attention because she gets, she, see, she doesn't care about the hat. It was a little bit of a rodeo, but not crazy. That wasn't a crazy rodeo. Maybe it was a crazy rodeo. Whoa, I guess you better watch the whole video. Today's video is a little bit of a rodeo. And you know what? You think I dressed for the occasion, but I didn't. I just went to church and, but when I heard about this, I threw me a cowboy hat on to match the rest of my clothes. So anyway, actually not any old cowboy hat. It's my dad's cowboy hat. So what we got here is a snake. Whoop, 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 whoop. A snake that laid its eggs, but she tricked us. We didn't think she was ready to lay and we didn't have a box in there. And she laid her eggs. There's a couple infernals right here. So now I got to figure out a way to get her out and get her up there. And that is going to be crazy. Okay, let's try covering her up because I don't want to get bit in the face. Oh, oh man, I'm going to need a ladder. Okay, so I changed it up. I'm over the top of it. Now the question is, ooh, 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 ooh. so you can see her right there. Her job is to protect those eggs from people like me. Oh, they look pretty good. Even though there's a couple infertiles. Oh, oh man, this is going to be difficult. I don't know if I need help or not. The problem is I can hardly get any help because she's literally coiled around them. And there's only room for one person. Yeah, I gotta get it just right. This is taking, helping the mom with her eggs to a whole new level. This could all go wrong. Getting worse by the minute. Oh, she's just like literally probably a hundred pounds with her eggs. She's barely on this piece of paper. I'm trying to get that to. Oh. Oh. Jeez. You think I'm kidding? This is crazy. I might have to get some help. Oh, oh man, this can really go wrong. Oh. Oh. She pops out of here right now. Oh. 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 I'm stepping on it. Oh my gosh. Oh. Whoa. I did it. <laughs> okay, now. I didn't think very far ahead because I don't have a snake hook. And right about now she's thinking, hold on. I was just in our safe environment in an enclosure. <sighs> I did it. I did it. <laughs> I got it, Tim. Okay. Come on, girl. Whoa. So, the... This is really a good snake at not getting crazy, but that getting her out that way and leaves it a far cry. You can see she's pretty jumpy. Come on. Whoa. Come on, girl. You're trying to get to where you can strike me, and I'm trying to get you where I can get you off. Oh, man. I do. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, go back that way, Tim. Look at that, you guys. So this is a beautiful clutch. And uh, we don't even know who the father is because she's early. We switched up the dad, and because she went early, it may have been the dad, the first dad, not the second dad, right? Yeah, probably. Well, because she tricked us, just like she just almost got me just now. Hey, girl. <laughs> okay, so what we got is she's a reticulated python, and uh, she's actually about six, eight years old. They can get much bigger, but it depends on the genetics. This has a lot of genetics in it. Uh, it's actually got uh, anthrax, which is one kind of gene. It's got genetic stripe, which is another kind of gene. It has albino in it, which is another gene. And uh, it may have mochino in the babies because albino works with the mochino gene. Well, come on. So we got a lot, come on girl. I'm trying to get her to come this way a little bit. 
so that she opens up the eggs a little bit and doesn't bite me in the face because that she has the ability with that angle to get me really good. So I'm trying to get her. I normally would leave, take eggs out of the box, but I don't have a box. Come on, girl. Ooh. So you see, if you don't give her a target, it's kind of different. So, whoop. <laughs> hello, hello. She still wants me. And uh, so this is an infertile egg. Whoa, 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 girl. This is an infertile egg right here. And so you can see that these infertile eggs are smaller. Whoa. So <clears throat> there was a couple I seen before we pulled the clutch. I don't even know if I was able to pick those up. Come on, I'm trying to keep her a little bit preoccupied. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. <laughs> now I got me a bulletproof cap. <laughs> so now if she was to bite me, I could dip my head real quick and catch it. <laughs> Whoa! But I better pay more attention because she gets, she, see, she doesn't care about the hat so much. Oh, ho! that's my bulletproof hat. Woo <laughs> Whoa! Jeez. Come on, girl. You're going to hurt your eggs. Come on. Come on. I'm going to need my snake hook. Okay, okay, here we go. Come on, come on. So, like I was saying, she actually has one more gene I almost forgot, tiger. So she's got a lot of genes in her. And uh, genes are basically the genetics that make up the different colors, patterns, and stuff like that. And we're talking about it. Then these eggs will take about 84 days to hatch. If you haven't watched before, you know that now. And uh, the idea is to take them away because if she had to sit on them, not only would she have to take care of them for the 84 days, which still works most of the time, but not so much in captivity. <clears throat> Even in the wild, there's so many predators, it's kind of crazy. I gotta be really careful because she's still in a perfect position to get me. Uh, in the wild, very, very few actually survive. You can always, almost always know how animals do in the wild from birth according to how many babies they have. Chickens have a lot of babies, because guess what? A lot of things eat chickens. Well, imagine how many things eat frog tadpoles and frogs. So many that they have thousands, insects, thousands and ten thousands of babies, right? And so, so many things eat insects. Crickets, same thing. Elephants, oh, isn't that funny? They don't even have one baby a year. So it takes a couple, year for, a couple years for an elephant to even give birth, and they rarely have but one. So. That gives you an idea of how things are. So pythons lay a lot of eggs because they don't, they, are, they do very poorly. So what we've done in captivity, whoa, dang, that was close. So we've done in captivity in order to try to change that is we modify things. We got an incubator for imita imitating the perfect environment and that helps a lot. Then when they go to hatch, a certain amount of them drown in the egg. But because we do them in captivity, we know when they're gonna hatch and we assist them. So we help them, we help them on both ends. So between the both ends, we can get a really high percentage rate. And then another thing is temperatures. Because they're cold blooded, the temperatures that their requirements are really strict during being pregnant. Let me see here. Ooh. We don't call it pregnant really, we call it gravid. There we go. There we go. Look at that, you guys. So I pulled it off. Look at her. Look at her. She's just completely still. Still thinking about getting me. Come on, girl, get up there. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up. I'm trying to get her tail so she doesn't come off. There we go. Whoa, she's still not happy with me. Then, of course, you wouldn't be happy with me if I was stealing your kids. And, of course, they do it all the time and they say it's in, for the best good. But hopefully, in this case, undoubtedly, we're going to hatch many more than she could have did. And they go. They can't eat for, this, for the three months that it takes for them to eat. The eggs to hatch, they don't eat anything. And uh, they won't even drink except for rainwater. So that being said, the cool part about it is she won't know the difference. She'll go back on food and have an easy, easy time. And that's one of the reasons they also breed more often in captivity because they have all the ideal situation, temperature wise, food wise. <clears throat> we help, we basically make it easy for them. And uh, that easy street means success. And uh, we don't even we don't even cycle them. When I say cycle them, so it used to be, <clears throat> a lot of zoos would have to think that they had to cool them and give them special temperatures and and do all kinds of stuff. Which we do give them special temperatures, but we actually do it different. We let the animal decide when they want to have babies. We don't ha change your, we don't change your temperatures up and down. We don't manipulate them. We don't 
we don't do anything except give them proper food, proper housing, make them happy, and and basically give them a boyfriend. So when we do all that, bam, look at this, exciting. And not only exciting, these should have some insanely gorgeous babies in them. Uh, this female has produced world's first before. We got a perfect clutch. Question is how many we got? So I think we're gonna feed these to something right before, right at the end of the video. So what we got one, we got two, four, six, eight. Did you guess yet? 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 37 eggs if I can count. So it was a little bit of a rodeo, but not crazy. It wasn't a crazy rodeo. Maybe it was a crazy rodeo. So now my job is to put her back in her enclosure, get her calm back down, turn her back into herself, let her realize that it's okay. The good news is snakes seem to get over the egg laying process in just a short time, somewhere between six and 24 hours for us. But it could be that they're because they're captive born, captive bred, multi-generations. This snake's literally carrying genes from snakes that we bred 20 plus years ago, 24 years ago. So it was a long process to get to this position. And you know what? Anything good in life takes time. So never give up on your dreams. And uh, even if you gotta look like you're a rodeo guy for that day. Anyway, take care guys. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let's see if I guess you guys probably wanna, see. oh, I gotta go feed these. I gotta go feed these eggs. Whoa. I still gotta put her away. I guess you guys aren't ready to leave yet, are you? Whoa, I guess you better watch the whole video. <laughs> we don't know what'll happen yet. Come on, girl, come on. She's still got a lot of energy because she didn't have to spend a lot of energy to do anything because we basically help her with, with her food, her, her water supply, everything she needs, including even hatching her eggs. So because of that, she's got a little bit more energy than normal. Another snake would be all wore out. Instead, she's all good, ready to go. I think I'm going to be able to get her back in there without bleeding. Oh. 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 I almost had it. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Oh. <laughs> Let's go feed those eggs off. <laughs> okay, come on over here, guys. This is the honeymoon suite. We got a few of them here. I don't know who's gonna eat. Oh, I know who's gonna eat for sure that. So he's a, he loves eggs, and uh, that's what these guys are all together for. The two girls and one boy. Now, there's one that's jet black. That's actually a gene like the retix. Look at him. I don't think he's gonna give much to the girls, but let's see. I actually gotta make a little hole because when I make a little hole, the ones that haven't eaten many eggs. Oh, she got it. So she's eating them. Uh-oh, I better let him. Hey, hey, hey. Don't even think it. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. Okay, you guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you're living your dream, whatever that looks like. By the way, this is a captive born Asian water monitor we have right here at the Reptile Zoo. It's actually Mr. Kipling's nephew. And uh, yep, dreams take a long time. Never give up on them, work hard towards them. And don't listen to people who say it'll never happen. Because if I did, this whole zoo could have never happened because <laughs> they told me I was crazy, insane. They may have been right about that, but they were definitely wrong that it would fail. Anyway, take care guys, see you soon.